transforming the mind of children, especially the boy child, as they grow from one stage to the other, has become necessary. These were words from the founder and convener of Boy Child Initiative, Transformation Center and Kiruka Ogadima to promote a healthy, respectful boy child in Nigeria. The event challenged parents and guidance to allow their children to express themselves. Our correspondent, Paul George, reports. <laughs> In this hall are parents, guidance, young adults, and children. This year's theme for the event, Walk in My Shoes, provides an opportunity for all concerned to learn new ways to teach children and help them grow through their developmental stages. We focus a lot on the girl child, and I'm not saying that is not enough. It's absolutely very important. But again, we look at all the menaces in the society today, and we'll attribute it 99.9% .9 to the boy children. You think about the fact that um, there is a lot of crime, kidnapping, raping, and so on and so forth. Um, you find the major culprits being the male counterparts. But in training and raising um, the young children, we focus always on the girl child, prepping her for the future, prepping her to become more professional, a decent wife and all of that. It's easier to form the boy child now than to correct him when he becomes an adult. One of the speakers, a mother of three, cautions parents to be more cordial and watchful. She spoke alongside others. I am happy at uh, what's happening here today, that we're beginning to mainstream also uh, the boy child. I think it's very important. Parents, don't, parents who choose for their children don't do it out of hatred. They actually do it out of love. But I think the world has opened up more. And so we must co-create with our children. We must guide them. But we should be wary of, you know, living our lives, our unfulfilled dreams, you know, through them. I want to give a special shout out to the women who are raising the boy child. Um, I, I, we definitely, we, we must not ever take it out of perspective. And this is to the boys here, when you're shouting at your mom at home, when you're giving her a really tough time, you should imagine that, uh, I mean, it's not, it's not easy. My mom just had to raise one boy child and it was a big, you know, <laughs> chore for her most of the time. So I can imagine with three and five, you know, um, we, could, we could make it easier. Parents should allow the children to do what they are motivated to do. Children should always pursue the, their calling and their individual art and work whatever it may be, as the creativity of a child is beyond that that a parent may see. A parent may not understand just what opportunities may open up from what a child is doing. So children, parents should allow their children the necessary opportunities and resources to build on their skills and to enhance their creativity positively. As the event winds down, parents and guests are excited as gift items are presented to the participants. Paul George, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.